So. Questions? 3.6b from chapter six. Mincing words there. Okay. <laughs> Go on. I think so. Okay. I think that was the demo. All right. There you go. And I think I know I figured out a. Uh -huh. All right. So let's let S be a reflection on the plane about the vertical axis x is minus one. Okay. And then symmetry G such that G. G Okay, good. Let's uh, draw some pictures here. Myself a bit. All right. So, I mean, of course, if, if someone has uh, approached and wants to see, that's, a, that's always preferable than me just kind of going at it. But you guys. Question about specifically how you utilize the Yeah, this is a change of report. I think this is a change of report that's quite questionable, right? Because I mean, and G is your sort of you're seeking out a, a G to be a change of coordinate. Idea is you know in one in one coordinate system, um, you know you want to say you're you're reflecting about uh, the x-axis, and the other coordinate system you're reflecting about um, vertical axis x equaling one. It's a little bit, it's maybe a change of coordinates is not exactly the way I want to see it. It's more, uh, well, maybe you could look at it as a change of coordinates. Uh, I'll say that. I'm not sure. There's sort of different perspectives on the same thing. And so it's a little bit hard for me to I don't want to give the wrong perspective, even though it's sort of. I think that you're you're on to something. Let me just say that. So the way I want to picture this is to do sort of a, this diagram that I had last time. Yeah. I'm done this already. If this goes up in my face. So, so one transformation we know, I mean, we know we should know two transformations, I guess. Um, one transformation we know here is just R, right? Zero, zero. And then the other transformation. Um, X equaling one line. So I can't. Yeah. Some transformation here that makes this reflection. The S. And so one thing to ask is what is this? Is the formula for this? Um, okay. 
the um, first semester settles um, one by another one unless they um, meet the the so it's going to be you're going to be able to write this as sort of this plus a vector. It's going to be a translation and a linear matrix. You can write it that way. Um, so maybe maybe the first thing to do is to is to sort of write down S as a as a form of well. I don't, I actually kind of think if I really need to do this or not. Um, I mean, maybe not, but I don't need to do this. Honestly, I may not need to do this, but I want to kind of show you guys that it works. <laughs> so maybe it's better that I do, uh, that I do it. Um, so, Okay, so let's see. Um, I have to take a second to think about it. Okay. I don't do these homeworks. I just assign them. So, Well, okay, so uh, bear, let me explain to you, uh, rather than just writing some kind of formula, let me explain to you what I'm thinking. I wanna do a change of coordinates. Um, I, what I do know how to do, what I know how to write down, I know how to write down the reflection over the y-axis. So I can think of, let me call that R tilde, right? And if I take R tilde of X, Y, this is going to equal a minus one, one, zero, zero of X, Y. This is reflection over the y-axis. And now I'm thinking, okay, well, I should do a change of coordinates if I shift. What I want to do is I want to translate here, reflect, and then translate back. So, it, so what, what I'm saying is I'm saying that S should equal R tilde, and then translation by the vector. Um, here we'll translate uh, over, so we'll go um, negative one, zero. And we'll translate back. So uh, now we have this. Maybe we should just write it. Or maybe we should just do that and then see see if what we get is sensible. So that means that s of x y should equal a minus one zero. Zero one of x minus one y plus one zero. So let's simplify that and see that's what we get. See what we get. This will be a minus one zero zero one. We have this formula for. I mean, there is a formula in the book, but I don't remember the name of it uh, for what the permutation of the reflection is. I'm just doing it by hand. If you remember it, then you probably be faster. So this is going to be, so I'll get a, I'm going to multiply essentially negative one zero by this matrix. I'll get, that'll give me um, one zero. So this will be plus two zero. Just, so, so now I've written it in, this, in these terms. And I want to say that's what this. So the, when I write that, I'm saying multiply a vector and then add this. Let's see if it makes sense. Um, so if I if my x coordinate is one, then my x coordinate is still one, right? If I put one y in here, uh, then this is equal to like negative one y plus two zero. That's one. So that, that means that, that the blue line is fixed. And blue is fixed. And so then, and then if I like took something like, uh, I don't know, two zero or something, put the 
it should go do i expect it to go it'll work <laughs> you can see that but anything with this you know an x coordinate of two will actually go to three so if it does that and it fixes that one it's got to be the one got to be the reflection it's this to this anyway so i mean this is argued reasonably by by this right by that kind of uh change of coordinates argument but i just want to make That I wasn't doing something wrong. The thing that I always end up, you know, like if I, in the past when I've kind of played with these types of computations, the place where I always make a mistake is is in the sort of sign, like whether I'm conjugating with G or G inverse. So this is like always something that is sort of a directionality. So I like to verify it if I'm doing something. So now I have formulas for both of these things. Get rid of this. I mean, maybe I'll keep this. Sorry. I'll remember what this is. So now what, we're, what are we looking for now? Well, what we're looking for now is we're looking for this map G, which is going to be so first, I'm going to say that S is equal to, okay, so this is the map here. Uh, G. Right, because then if then I can, and I want this G so that everything sort of commutes here. This, do, do people understand these pictures? Means that if I can put when I when I draw this picture, I'm trying to draw sort of a diagram. Of I know there's a lot of arrows, but okay. G is a function, R is a function, S is a function. I imagine each of these is a transformation. I'm taking this to here. The S takes it to here, and so if I go this way, compose these two, then I want that's the same as composing these two. sort of commutativity of it. It's called, we say, the diagram of mutes. So we need to calculate G, okay? So we need to calculate, we, we want to calculate G. So what do people think? I'll tell you what I think, but what do people think? I can do an illustration, but I realized you know I've, I've advanced so much that I uh, no longer need to take a but it's like dumpster diving. <laughs> <laughs> so, so what is this diagram talking about? So, let's say my let's say this is my guy, right? This is my my plane. So, so this map down here, this is reflection over the x-axis. We can just do that. My, my fingers are on the x-axis. That's what it's going to do. The other end, the blue line, right? This is like we've got some line here. I'm reflecting that way. So the diagram for me is to say, okay, well, if I I could what I could do is I could kind of take the line of reflection that I'm doing uh, for R, which is the x-axis, and move it over to the line of reflection, the blue line of reflection. If I did that with my piece of paper and then I reflected, I would get the same thing as if I reflected and then moved that line over to the, the blue line of reflection. Be the same kind of same operation. So what I want to do is I want to find a transformation that takes my x-axis uh, and it moves it moves it over to the blue. Oh. That's what, I'm, that's what I'm looking for. If I find that, then I'll be happy. That will work. That's my, that's my hypothesis based on paper. <laughs> Proof by paper. Okay, well, 
actually calculate and make sure. About <laughs> so, so okay. So let, let me make my life a little more colorful. I want, I want green to go to blue. All right, well, I, okay, you guys should be able to help. You should be able to help. Green to blue. And let's, yeah, let's, yeah. Okay, go. I was just gonna say that you can rotate it. Very good. Let's rotate and translate. So we're gonna rotate by 90 degrees, by pi. And I'll do it counterclockwise, because that's how I roll. Um, and uh, so let's rotate by 90 degrees, rho pi, and equal multiplying by pi. Zero. And sorry, pi over two. Um, and then we'll translate by uh, zero one. Or sorry, one zero. one zero. Plus. So again, what this means, this is a transformation. And the way I've written it is kind of nonsensically it's the same, same kind of nonsense that I have up here. What it means is I, I take, if I take an X and Y, then I'm gonna put that X and Y uh, right here. Uh, maybe I'll, I'll write that a little more clearly. We will let's make the hypothesis that this works. Let's see. Okay. The, the claim is that this is G, that G, this particular G, G is not necessarily unique. I mean, G, you could write G as a couple of things, several things. But the claim is that this particular G works. And we're writing it in the way that they ask us to. So. Okay, so let's calculate. So this should just be a calculation. So I'm gonna first apply R, and then I'm gonna apply G. So uh, let's go G times R. That's going uh, this way. Because again, I'm, I'm composing. So first I apply R, and then I apply G. Um, okay, this is G of one zero. Zero minus one. That's fine. G equals so we G of x minus y. It equals according to my formula zero minus one one zero of x minus y because I've already applied r plus one zero. Okay, so this is equal to so I get a Y here and I'll get an X here and I'm gonna add one to Y. All right, so that's G times R. Now we cross our fingers. Let's see what S times G is. S times G plus Y. What's well, S of G? G of X, Y, G of X, Y, pardon me. So I've already written it up here. It's a little sloppy. So this is S of, okay, so I get a minus, I get a one minus Y. X here. And so now, yeah. Uh, okay, so now I can actually use it. 
this is minus one, zero, zero, one, one minus y. equal to y minus one zero y plus one hey how does that look like that my paper works <laughs> <laughs> Does it, does it make sense kind of? So this is this satisfies. I mean, everything's invertible. Uh, so there's not like, I mean, so you can take it, you know, if you have this equation, I guess my point is this, if I have uh, uh, GR equals SG, then I can certainly multiply it on the, thing, on the, on the right by G inverse. That's the one that Okay, uh, that it? Three point two? Yeah. Um the third three point two. Um instead of I suppose Squaring and and then going to translation to it, I um possibly make m into a translation and then square it. Is that possible? Make m into a translation? Yeah. Well, m is an, they say m is orientation reversing, so that means that it will not be a translation. So you okay. can't can't make that conversion. Okay. So only after squaring. Yeah, it's because you're going to, it's basically saying if you reflect something twice, you're going to get a translation. Okay. Um, which is kind of surprising. <laughs> um, well, it, it's not true if you have different axes of reflection. But it's sort of like, yeah, if you reflect over something, oh, pardon me. Uh, yeah, I think this is the point. The point is, is that, okay, so certainly if there's two types of orientation reversing things. One is a glide reflection and one is a reflection. So if you reflect twice, uh, then you're going to get an identity. If you reflect, if you do glide reflection twice, then you get a translation. Well, that's it. I guess I kind of pared down the problems pretty significantly. All right, guys, we don't have to linger. That sounds good. Um, have a good weekend. And uh, I did make some changes to the, I just, I took off a couple of sections from this chapter and we'll hopefully we'll just make it through. Uh, I think we'll go through enough that it's still interesting. But yeah, All right. see you on Monday. Thank you guys. <laughs>